Want to speed up your language learning? Get access to all of our best PDF cheat sheets for free. Just click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. The top 25 Afrikaans phrases. So they're obviously the ones that you definitely want to know if you want to know Afrikaans. They're super simple, most of them, and easy to learn. The ones that everyone always like learns these words in all the different languages. So let's get started. Hello. 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 It's pretty straightforward. It's a greeting. It's what you say to everyone. It sounds the same as most languages, so it's pretty uh, an easy one to remember. Goeiemorgen. Goeiemorgen. Good morning. Goeiemorgen. Good morning. So this one's a little bit hard because it's got the ch sound, but in the morning we're all feeling ugh anyway, so it's a great way, great time to use this. Practice it next time you wake up in the morning and say hello to whoever you see the first thing in the morning and just say, Goeiemorgen. Goeiemiddag. Goeiemiddag. Good afternoon. Goeiemiddag. Good afternoon. So it's very similar to Goeiemorgen, but this time you're changing the second word to middag adding an extra in there because now by, by middag time the day is hard and you, all you want is some lunch so you're adding more in there and just saying goeiemiddag as if it's angry but try to say it with a smile and then it's even nicer goeiemiddag goeienacht goeienacht good night goeienacht good night so that's what you say before you go to bed, obviously. And by now, you're thinking of the dreams that you might have tonight or the comfy, warm bed that you're going to in a cold winter's day. Um, not like today, obviously. <laughs> but it's something that everyone wants to hear. It's nice to say it to the people around you before going to bed. Like, end your day on a nice, calm note by telling everyone around you. Goeie nacht. What is your norm? What is Yo nom. What is your name? What is your nom? What's your name? So this is obviously the one that you want to know when you're going out in a new place, especially in South Africa or anywhere where you know there's Afrikaans people and you want to know who they are, what like know more about them. So it's always an easy icebreaker. What is your nom? Get to know their name. Try think of a way that you'll remember it by making up little anagrams in your head or whatever. It's what I usually do because I'm very bad at remembering names. But definitely a useful phrase to know. Ek is Christine. Ek is Christine. I'm Christine. And then if they ask you that question or if you've just asked that question, the likely response is Ek is Nam. I am Name. So you'd insert your name, obviously, you wouldn't say Ek is Nam. You'd say, I would say, Ek is Christine. I am Christine. So pretty simple response. What is your Nam? Ek is, and then say your name. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Aangename kennis. Aangename kennis. Nice to meet you. Aangename kennis. Aangename kennis. Nice to meet you. So now you've said hello, you've said goeiemorgen, goeiemiddag, goeienacht, whatever, whatever time of day it is. You've asked them what their name is, you've told them what your name is, so now you're saying it's nice to meet you. Aangename kennis. It's a simple conversation going on here, so it's very important to know all these little phrases. Who gaan dit met jou? Who gaan dit met jou. How are you? Hoe gaan dit met jou? How are you? So now in the conversation, you're at that part where you've realized that they have a cool name, they seem pretty cool, and you want to know a little bit more about them. So you ask them, hoe gaan dit? And then remember to listen, because people always say this, and then don't listen to the response, or don't really care about the response. Only ask these things if you care, because it's, it's way nicer that way. Goed dankie en met jou. Goed dankie en met jou. 
I'm fine, thanks. And you? And then the typical response, or hopefully the response, because it's positive. Goed dankie, en met jou. Goed dankie, en met jou. I'm fine, thanks. And you? So that obviously follows the previous one, um, answering how you are doing and then asking back to the person because that's only polite. You don't want to be like, yeah, I'm fine, thanks, bye. You want to be polite, ask them how they're doing back if they asked it first. Otherwise, maybe don't say it if you asked it first because then it's just like a continuous cycle that's never ending. Asseblief. Asseblief. Please. Asseblief. Please. Very popular in South Africa because we're all very polite people here. But please remember, see, I said it there again. Please remember to be polite when you're asking for something or commenting on something that requires a please. No, it'll be a question. So be polite, remember your manners, and say as a belief if you are looking for something. Donkey. Donkey. Thank you. Donkey. Thank you. So there we go again with the politeness. Be very kind and warm when someone tells you something or compliments you or gives you an answer to that as a belief question that you just ask. Say thanks. Say donkey. And if you can't remember the word, think of a donkey. That's how I always used to tell people. And then just change the, the sound a little bit because you can't say donkey. You must say donkey. Yes, welcome. Yes, yes. Valkom. You're welcome. Jij is welkom. You're welcome. So that's the response if someone said danke to you, you're obviously going to say you're welcome. Jij is welkom. Because it wasn't such a schlep for you to tell them what they wanted and you don't mind telling them. So jij is welkom. Ja. Ja. Yes. Ja. Yes. Pretty straightforward. Yes positive response to something so pretty easy near near no near no also pretty straightforward but try not to use it so much because it's gonna be a downer on anyone unless it's something definitely that needs a no for a response but ya ja and near pretty easy going used quite often so good ones to remember okay Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. It's very simple because it's the same as the English and most other languages, just like I said hello. Um, okay means, yeah, sure, okay, we'll do this, or okay, I'll have that for lunch, or okay, you make the plans. It's used every day in so many different ways, so it's easy to remember, okay. For schoen mai. For schoen mai. Excuse me. For schoen mij. Excuse me. This is a part of that politeness again. If you are leaving the table or you're walking away from something because you don't really like the conversation going on, you just politely say, For schoen mij. As a belief as well, if you want to be even more nice. Even nicer. Ek is jammer. Ek is jammer. I'm sorry. Ek is jammer. I'm sorry. So, unfortunately, this one means you've done something wrong or you've said something that's not so polite. But just be a human being and say sorry if a sorry is needed. And then remember, ek is jammer. Who laat is dit? Who laat is dit? What time is it? Who laat is dit? What's the time? This is funny, the translation isn't exactly what's the time, but that's how we say it here in South Africa. You literally say, how late is it? Because you're always late for something, or you're always thinking it's later than it is. So try to remember it that way. We're always late, so that's why we say, who lot is it? Like, how late is it? Waar is die badkamer? Waar is die badkamer? Where is the restroom? Waar is die badkamer? Where is the restroom? This one you'll probably use when you're out at the restaurants or at a random friend's house that you've never been to before and you really need a wee. 
So you're going to be needing this one. So remember, waar is die badkamer? Vage bieke. Vage bieke. Wait a moment. Wach a biki. Wait a moment. You're a little bit busy in a conversation and someone comes and chirps in and all you want to say is just hold on. So if you ever in these situations and you have friends that like to interrupt you, then maybe you should learn wach a biki. And you could always add asablief as well if you don't want to sound too rude and like cut offy. You can say wach a biki, asablief. Who feel costed? Who feel costed? How much is this? Who feel costed? How much is this? Now you're in the shop. So you've been to the restaurants, you've been to friends' house, you've been everywhere, and now you're in the shops and you're seeing this beautiful new thing that you really want to buy. But, you know, you're on holiday, so you can't just be splurging money everywhere. So you're going to have to ask this question quite often. Who feel costed? Help. 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 Luckily, this word, because it has so much going on and it's obviously urgent, is usually the same in most languages. So it's pretty straightforward if you know English. Help it sounds the same in Afrikaans and is used in the same way. Sien jou later. Sien jou later. See you later. See you later. See you later. You finish at the restaurant, you're going home or at the shops or whatever, and you're saying, ciao, I'm going to see you later. See you later. Um, obviously, one to use all the time comes alongside a goodbye. So remember, see you later. And maybe I'll see you later in some of the other videos. <laughs> Tot ziens. Tot ziens. Goodbye. Tot ziens. Goodbye. Um, Directly translated, tot ziens means until I see you again, which is quite nice because you're always assuming that a good bye isn't a bad bye <laughs> and you will reconnect again at some point. So tot ziens means until next time, but it actually means goodbye. Ek weet nie. Ek weet nie. I don't know. Ek weet nie. I don't know. It's okay to not know. We don't all know everything. So it's a good, this is a good one to know. <laughs> if someone asks you a question or asks you directions and you don't know because you're just a tourist here, remember to say, Ek weet nie. I use this all the time and it irritates my friends, but I'm honest at least. So, Ek weet nie. 10 favorite words chosen by the fans, which is hopefully you guys. So I hope you enjoy your 10 favorite words. Donkey. Thanks. Dankie. Dankie. Thanks. Dankie vir jou tyd. Dankie vir jou tyd. Thank you for your time. Dankie. I also love that word. It sounds a little bit like donkey in English. Um, so I can see why you chose that word. Dankie is such a nice thing to say after anything, whenever anyone helps you or does something for you. So remember, politeness is key and always say dankie. See, it's the key. Danke. Hello. 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 Var was jij? Hello. Var was jij? Hello. Where were you? This is what you're saying to your friend on the night out. Like, oh, where were you last night? Hello. Where were you? Um, it's an easy one to remember. It sounds very much like the English. So, hello. Var was jij? Where were you? It's even structured the same so you can see why you guys picked it and I also quite like that sentence because it it teaches you about the people that you hang out with you see where they've been <laughs> vakansi vacation vakansi vakansi vacation ek wil nou met vakansi gaan ek wil nou met vakansi gaan I want to go on holiday now. So people probably say that all the time, which is probably why it's one of the favorites because vacancy, I mean, who doesn't love a holiday? Um, and who doesn't want to go on one right now? Like I want to be on one right now, but luckily I'm going on one soon. So vacancy, let us know if you're going on a vacancy anytime soon or if you just want to go on one right now. 
Goedemiddag. Good afternoon. Goedemiddag. Goedemiddag. Good afternoon. Goedemiddag. Can I help? Goedemiddag. Can I help? Good afternoon. Can I help you? So this is a good one to answer the phone or if you just bump into someone and they like looking at you like you're like hello can I help you? <laughs> it's it's very easy to remember. Goeie middag. If you've learned those two, you're set. Kan ek help? Sounds the same. Help is the same. Can I ek? So kan ek help? And hopefully you can. Hopefully you can give them some directions or just tell them that they have a smidge on their face or whatever. Help everyone in any way you can, but try to be polite about it so that they can say danke. South Africa. South Africa. South Africa. South Africa. South Africa. South Africa is the mooiste land. South Africa is the mooiste land. South Africa is the prettiest country. I do agree with you there, guys. Thanks, fans. Um, hopefully, if you're learning Afrikaans on here, you are either planning on or you're living here or you have been and you got inspired coming to South Africa. Um, it's such a great place. It really is the moister land. So when you come here, make sure you go see all the natural places and all the all those lists that you find on Google and ask some locals, like write on the comments down here, ask us and we'll let you know what some nice places are to come visit in South Africa. Gesond. Healthy. Gesond. Gesond. Healthy. Die paard like baie gesond. Die paard like baie gesond. The horse looks very healthy. This is quite a funny sample sentence that we've given here because we're talking about a horse, like where did that come from? But actually in Afrikaans there's a saying, um, paard fris en gesond, which means you are just healthy and up and going. So that's probably why we've used paard here, but the paard is gesond, which is always good. I hope you guys are all very gesond and not sick in this change of weather time. Coffee. 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 Can I three coffees cry as a belief? Can I three coffees cry as a belief? Can I have three coffees, please? Sure, it's been a it's been a long day if you're asking for three coffees. Uh, maybe you're socializing and you're getting them for your friends. Who knows? <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a very easy word to remember. Coffee, coffee. It's just a little bit of a different pronunciation. But if you're not a coffee person, tea is the same. Also, tea, tea. Um, I'm a coffee person and I'm very excited to go make my third coffee of the day. Probably a little bit unhealthy, but um, need my energy. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy your third coffee as well. Geld. Money. Geld. Geld. Money. Ek wil meer geld verdien. Ek wil meer geld verdien. I want to earn more money. Well, sir or madam, if you want to meer geld verdien, then you're going to have to work harder or work more or start working if you're not working. Try find a job or something that you can do that, that you love and then it doesn't, doesn't feel like, oh, it's such a struggle to get that extra dollar to go traveling. I mean, if you do something you love, then you won't work a day in your life and then you'll earn money and it won't feel bad. I love doing this, so um, I hope you guys have the same luck as I sometimes do. Gesondheid. Cheers. Gesondheid. Gesondheid. Cheers. <laughs> Gesondheid. Kom ons kry nog een. Gesondheid. Kom ons kry nog een. Cheers. Let's get another one. <laughs> so you're out. That's another thing we like doing here, especially after watching the Lions rugby. You go, oh, cheers. We won or we lost or whatever, however they're doing. And you go grab another because <laughs> why not? If not, why not? Liefde. Love. Liefde. Liefde. Love. My hond ken net liefde. 
My Hund can net lifter. My dog only knows love. Oh, that's so true. I mean, if you have a dog or a cat or any kind of pet that you have at the in the house all the time, it's so nice. Like, you can have an argument with anyone. You can have the worst day ever, but you know when you get home, you're going to get that cuddle. You're going to get that love from your little pig. Um, so hopefully your pets are as lovable as mine and your dogs also can net lifter. The 10 hardest words to pronounce in Afrikaans. So it's going to be a difficult one and remember to get those mouth muscles moving because we're going to be using them quite a bit in this lesson today. Goeie. Goeie. Good. Dit is goeie nies. That is good news. This one's hard to say because it's got the kh sound that's so popular in Afrikaans language. Um, just pretend that you're really angry or irritated at something and you're going ugh and then Keep that sound and go goeie, goeie. And it's a goeie thing to learn it because it's used all the time. News. 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 Ek het baie goeie news. I have very good news. I hope you have very goeie news to tell me because if you do, it means you've learned the kh and the news which is what makes that word a bit harder than others. So this one is E. You're going, making this weird shape with your mouth. E. Goeie nies. Gebruik. Gebruik. Use. Kan ek jou kar gebruik? Can I use your car? This one's a little bit, as awkward as that question because you don't really want to give someone else your car just in case something happens but you do because you're a nice person and they're your friend so this is that word you you really want to learn it because it's the word for using any word so the word is gebruik the kh sound as before and now we've added a new sound oi oi gebruik Ra. Rak. Shelf. The rack is full of stuff. The shelf is full of dust. This word it has the it doesn't have the kh that we've been talking about, but now we've got a new sound in Afrikaans that a lot of people in different languages struggle with a little bit, and it's a rrr, as if your tongue is jumping up and down in your mouth. Rrr, rak. More. Moore. Morning. Ek gaan more kom keier. I'm going to come visit tomorrow. This one has a rr like before. It's a little bit easier, but it just, you have to remember to read more because in English it's spelled like more. So don't say more, say more. And the older generations of Afrikaans people, they might say it a little bit differently and they sometimes say more but it's more commonly used as more. Lekker. Lekker. Nice. Delicious. Die kos is baie lekker. This food is very nice. This word is a must. You must learn how to say this word. Lekker. Lekker. Because it is used all the time in South Africa. Everything is lekker. Not just the kos that we were just talking about. The Weather is lekker. The party was lekker. The drink is lekker. My friends are lekker. It's just a word that we use all the time. So it's definitely lekker to know the word lekker. Roll. 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 Die pen het gerol. The pen rolled. This one is funny because roll, roll, all you have to do is roll your tongue on your mouth. So it makes the r sound like before. Roll. It's quite nice to say, actually, if you say it a couple of times in a row. Roll. Gek. Gek. Crazy. Die man is gek om te spring. The man is crazy to jump. You're saying that because you're watching some bungee jumping show or someone jumping out of an airplane. They are gek. And gek is also a bit of a gek word to know because it's of the gh sound and the ek which means me, so it's like, you're saying you are gek, but you're not really. But it's a gek word, it's a gek lekker word. 
crazy nice word. Lach. Lach. Laugh. Ek lach elke dag vir my hond. I laugh at my dog every day. Lach is such a lekker word. Um, to laugh is such, it's the greatest thing ever. So it's important to learn this word because maybe learning how to say it will make you laugh and then you'll have a happy memory and remember the word and it's a win-win situation. Ras. Ras. Noise. Die bure ras baie. The neighbors are very noisy. Just like me sitting here in the park today where there's a lot of people around me having picnics and everything and there's it's quite a lot of noise going on but at least the ras isn't too much for me to make this lovely video and teach you some Afrikaans. So ras. 10 phrases that you never want to hear. Ish. So these are all going to be very negative. I'm really sorry. I don't want to offend anyone but when I'm saying these things I'm not saying them to you. I'm just telling you them so that when someone says them to you, you know that you should probably act in a, in a scared or sorry way because you don't want to know these things. Het jy onlangs gewig opgedaal? Het jy onlangs gewig opgedaal? Have you gained weight recently? Het jy onlangs gewig opgedaal? Have you gained weight lately? It's quite a harsh thing to say to someone, something you should learn but not say. Um, know it so that if someone tells you, you can be like, no, I haven't, thanks, and it's got none of nothing to do with you anyway. And if you have, who cares? Like, love yourself, love your body, and ignore people who ask you if you've picked up weight. Jy het a grys haar. Jy het a grys haar. You have a grey hair. Jy het a grys haar. You have a grey hair. This is quite scary, especially if you're getting a little bit older, but not that much older, and you're finding a grys haar, and you're like, ah, my life is going so quickly. But it's not the end of the world. It's fine. Just pluck it out, or dye it, or actually just own it. Go grey. Grey is the new black. Well, I don't know. It's grey is the new grey, but <laughs> own it. Own yourself, own your body, own your hair, own everything. It's making you a happier person that way. Ek het jou gesê, ek het jou gesê, I told you so, ek het jou gesê, I told you so, hate hearing this from people because it means you were wrong and ek het jou gesê, it sounds so condescending, but if you're the one to say it, you're feeling a little bit better, so I guess it's one to learn um, and hopefully use. <laughs> Jy is afgedaan. Jy is afgedank. You're fired. Jy is afgedank. You are fired. So this one is quite terrible. No one really wants to hear that. And unfortunately in Afrikaans it doesn't even have that punch. Like yes, afgedank doesn't really sound as much as you're fired. But you, if someone says that to you, I'm really sorry. Good luck finding a new job. Um and maybe ask why so that you can change something, I guess. Dit is nie jy nie, dis ek. Dit is nie jy nie, dit is ek. It's not you, it's me. Dit is nie jy nie, dit is ek. It's not you, it's me. Another one that we definitely don't want to hear if you're in a relationship and they're ending things with you or telling you something and it's it's not you it's me Ugh, you're right it probably is you but they're just trying to be polite but if you're using this one maybe don't like learn it in Afrikaans the Disney I need this act but don't use it in that way because most of the time it's just something that softens the blow but it doesn't really actually do that thank you for your CFA on city position thank you Vir jou CV, ons het die posiesie gevul. Thank you for your resume, however the position has been filled. Thank you for your CV, ons het die posiesie gevul. Thank you for your resume, however the position's already been filled.
unfortunately you've just been fired and now you're trying to find a new job and they're telling you that there's no more new job left and you're just not in a great space and I'm really sorry if you're in this space um I'm just wishing you all the best of luck and hopefully you never have to hear these things I'm sorry uns mit anderen Menschen sehen uns mit ander mense sehen we should see other people Uns mit ander mense sehen. We should see other people. This is almost as bad as the it's not you, it's me thing. Um, except it's a little bit more open and honest and just telling people how you feel. So I guess if you're in that position, remember how to say uns mit ander mense sehen. Ek het nie jou geld vandag nie. Ek het nie jou geld vandag nie. I don't have your money today. Ek het nie jou geld vandag nie. I don't have your money today. That sucks if it's the end of the month and you've kind of run through all your spendings have been high and you've run through all your savings and your boss tells you that they don't have your geld vandag and it sucks and means you're going to have to be living on rice or popcorn or something for a couple of days. I mean, I've been there. <laughs> But um, yeah, not a great one to hear either. Hey. <sighs> These things are making me feel like life is very hard right now. <laughs> Ons moet praat. Ons moet praat. We need to talk. Ons moet praat. We need to talk. Here's another one of those relationship shooters that we really don't like to hear. Um, even though sometimes they can be positive, you know, like we need to talk about moving in together or something like that. But since we're in this list... We're going to assume that ons moet praat means that we're going to be seeing other people or something along those unfortunate lines. Jou kar is gesteel. Jou kar is gesteel. Your car is stolen. Jou kar is gesteel. Your car is stolen. Definitely don't want to hear that one ever. It's a lot of money and a lot of issues and a lot of admin to get that fixed and get it back or get it found or get a new one or insurance or like, ugh, there's so many things that come with this stupid little sentence of yo car is gesteel. So pay a car guard or park in a parking lot or try not to put your car in a place where it can be stolen. <laughs> 20 words you'll need for the beach, which is obviously where I am right now. I don't have all those 20 things, but we'll go through the list and then you can keep your checklist for the next time you're heading to a beautiful place like this. Sonbrille. Sunglasses. Sy het die mooiste sonbrille. She has the most beautiful sunglasses. She being me, I definitely do. They're very comfortable. It's really nice if you have this little string thing to keep them there because then when you're on the beach, it's a kind of cloudy day like today. You don't really need them, but then every now and then the sun just peeps out at you and you just go, voila, I can see. But not today because it is cloudy and I don't really need them. Strand. Beach. Ons gaan morgen Durban strand doen. We're going to Durban Beach tomorrow. Well, if you are going to Durban Beach tomorrow, lucky you. That's the nicest place where the water is all nice and warm and you can swim and the sun surrounded by lovely, wonderfully happy people. So if you're going to Durban Strand tomorrow, then you're a really lucky person. I'm not at Durban Strand and the sea here is a lot colder, so I won't be swimming today. But if you go, enjoy. Swim. Swimming. Ek swim in die sea. I'm swimming in the sea. Clearly, like I just said, I'm not swimming in the sea today because it is freezing here. But if you're at the Durban Strand, then the sea is where you want to be. Son. Sun. The sun gaan jou brand. The sun is going to burn you. Well, the sun is quite strong in South Africa, so if you are planning on tanning, you better get that sun cream out because it will burn you. You'll get nice and brown, maybe if it's nice, if you've got a strong skin, but it's better to be safe than sorry because no one wants a sunburn. It's very, very painful and itchy when you go to bed. Palmboer, palm tree. Sy sit onder die palmboer. 
she's sitting under the palm tree. She being me isn't sitting under a palm tree, but if you're at the Durban Strand, there's probably a couple of palm trees around and you know there's lovely um, tropical beaches and there's lots of pineapples or coconuts or things. If you're in one of those places, you can definitely be using this word, palemboom, and maybe you can go sit under one and then you can be the she sitting under the palm tree. Sea skull, seashell. This is a pink sea skull. This is a pink seashell. Well, as you can see, I do not have a pink seashell to show you. At the moment, it was very rough high tide here last night, so all the shells are a little bit under the sand and all over the place, and I couldn't really find a nice pink one to show you today. But I challenge you to go find me one and let me know later in the comments if you found a beautiful pink seashell, a beautiful pink sea skull. Swimbrook, swimsuit. I get a new swimbrook for quick. I bought a new swimsuit. I did buy a new swimsuit at the beginning of the year when it was full time summer blazing in the sun all day, every day. Right now I'm not going to show you my swimsuit because like I said before, it's super cold here and it's not my time to swim. But it might be yours, so go get your new swim brook and get in that water and splash around. Ocean. Ocean. The ocean is mooi in blue vandaag. The ocean is nice and blue today. Well, it's, it is. I mean, I don't know if you can see very well, but it's beautiful and blue. A lot of those times where it's like spring tide or something and then the water goes all murky and brown and red But not today and not most of the time. So if you're at the ocean, if you're at the strand, uh, have a look at the sea, see what color it is. Try to decipher what shade of blue it is. I love playing that game. And then you get everyone around you to say a color and then you actually search the color and see which one of you got the closest one. I never win. But um, it's, it's quite nice to notice the little things. So notice the actual color of the ocean water or the sand around you or even the plants and things on the tree. Like notice what their little leaves look like, what the little bird walking on the sand's little feet look like. These little, little details really add to having the most wonderful, fulfilling, beach day experience. So check out the sea, check if it's blue, and if it is, then the ocean is moi and blue. Water pony, jet ski. My son will graag op die water pony ry. My son would really like to go on the jet ski. Uh, jet skis are quite dangerous things, but they are super, super fun if you get to ride one. So you must always just be sure that the waves aren't too crazy, there's not too much going on around you. And if you have the lucky chance to go on a Vardnik Bwerni, then enjoy it. Don't go wild, we all want to live to tell the tale. Um, but if you do get to, you're very lucky, make sure you have fun, make sure you're safe, and then come back and tell us all about it. Strat Handuk beach towel. My strand handuk is not nat. My beach towel is still wet. Well, I have my beach towel here today and it's not still wet. And one funky thing about beach towels is they're not like all the towels we have at home. They're colorful, they have lots of patterns. And the fun thing is, if your swim brook isn't so colorful and you decided to just go for the plain black one or plain yellow one, you can always jazz up your beach look by having a funky towel or a funky bag or a funky hat or funky sunglasses, sonbrille. Um, so that's one great thing about the strand experience. You always have these colors and patterns and just add them all together and make your look unique, which is great and beautiful and fun and attracts lots of people. Strand stool, beach chair. I get a green strand stool gekoop. I bought a green beach chair. I don't have a beach chair here today, unfortunately, but they are great if you don't like sand and you don't like getting sand all in your legs and your feet when you're sitting down or on your towel. And every time you come back to your towel, you have to get off all the sand and then the sand goes in your friend's eyes and then blah, 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 blah. Just all craziness. One way to avoid that is getting a strand stool. You can sit comfortably, not too sandy but you're sandy enough to still say you're on the beach so 
if you're one of those people who doesn't like the sand in the air and all the air, go get a fruit stencil or another color but green ones are nice and you'll fit in with the nature around you Sant Castillo Sand Castle The Kineshbo is Sant Castillo The children are building a sand castle Who doesn't love building sand castles on the beach? You don't have to be a child to do it I actually did it yesterday with a little kid So I was playing with him but I think I was the one enjoying it more than he was You can build big ones, small ones, lots of little ones, add them all together You can make those drippy ones with wet sand like. Sand castles are endless creations of fun and creativity. So, if you don't like building a uh, one with a bucket and a spade and all that stuff, and you're one of the looser creative types, you can use your hands, use tools. The best thing about sand is you can do almost anything with it. So, go when you're next to the beach, go make a spectacularly amazing sand castle and show your friends, take a photo post it on Instagram, do whatever, but most of all, before doing all those things, just enjoy it. It's such a nice thing to just play with your hands and do things and make things and it's such a nice stress relief. So not only are you in the fun, in the sun, having fun, swimming in your Niva swim group, using your hands, stress relief, creativity, it's just what a better way to spend your day at the beach than making sun custom. Getai Tide Die getai is baie hoog vandag The tide is very high today Well actually it's not where I am right now It's actually quite low tide But yesterday it was such a hoog day. I came to the beach and we could only walk on like this much sand because there was so much water everywhere and sometimes it's nice to be here in low tide because there's lots of sand for you to walk on and play on and run on and do whatever you want to do on the beach but Actually, it's also really nice to come in the work day because then you're seeing all the little bubbles and all the little snails that come out of the ocean and the whole beach becomes alive because there's so much life in the water that's now surrounding the beach that you're usually running on. So it's quite cool that it changes so much in one day but that space of sand is enjoyed by not only us when it's low tide but also by all the little sea creatures living in the sea sand that we don't really notice until it's work a day and they come out and swim and play and whatever so it's quite a cool thought to think of don't you think tan tan i get a lekker tan gekry i got a nice tan well thank you i mean i hope i did i don't know i didn't spend too much time in the sun this summer because it was a super hot one and i didn't want to damage my skin but it's always nice when you've spent the whole day at the beach and you come home and you're not so like red like a lobster but actually you think you've like got some color and it looks good and people are complimenting you and it's a great feeling so just make sure that when you are in the sun you're tanning and not burning because it doesn't feel the same the response is not quite the same people laughing at you instead of winking at you or whatever the positive thing is so just make sure it's a tan and not a burn. Snorkel. Snorkeling. Ons gaan allemaal morgen snorkel. We're all going snorkeling tomorrow. Lucky you. How cool. Like all the little creatures I was talking about earlier that live in the ocean and the shallow waters and the little rock pools. If you've got a snorkel, you definitely have to go check them out because you can see what they like, what they like doing, all the little anemones and the little mussels and if you've got a snorkel, you must definitely go snorkel more. Plucky. Flip-flop. Zij heeft haar plucky verloren. She lost her flip-flop. Shame, poor girl. Because I have mine here. They're the two saving graces of the beach day. You never really use them, so they're kind of annoying while you're on the strand. But before and after, while you're walking to the car or walking to the home or wherever you're coming from, they help you on the rocky gravelly roads and they save you until you get to the soft silky sand. Sonskarm. Sunscreen. My man had his sonskarm gebring. My husband brought the sun cream. What a nice guy. Like I said earlier, we want to tan, we don't want to burn. So we got to make sure that someone, if you don't have a husband, that's okay. 
um, just make sure someone or you even remember the sun cream remember to put it on a little while before you come into the sun because otherwise ouchie lobs the time tonight bikini bikini bikinis is all they can even wear bikinis are always in fashion they are. I actually did a study on bikinis the other day and we learned how over time they've gone from being a full swimsuit to being a two piece to being a big and a small piece to being a two smaller pieces and they seem to always be getting smaller. I wonder who's designing them. But anyway, they are nice if you want to get a tan and not a burn. They are nice if you want to get some color. They're nice for some freedom and you have complete looseness about your body and you can swim and feel the water. They're great things, just make sure that you're wearing them right and for the right reasons. But they are beautiful and if you've got the body, flaunt it. Roemais. Ice cream. Arbeid Roemais is the lekkerste. Strawberry ice cream is the nicest. That is actually my favorite ice cream flavor or milkshake flavor, even better when you push it all together into a drink. But what a good beach it is if there's a little stall selling ice cream and it's such a hot day in the sun, you're all sweaty and all you want is something cold but unfortunately you've got the cooler box with all the cool drunker. So now what are you going to do? You're going to buy an ice cream. What's your favorite flavor? Strawberry ice cream. Ice cream on the beach, Romais op die strand is the best solution to the sticky uncomfortableness of the hot sun. Sun. Sand. I get sand in my schooner. I have sand in my shoes. Well, if you've got pluckies, you're not going to have sand in your shoes because they're just going to fall off, obviously. But it's the main ingredient for those sand castilla that you want to build, so it's always good to have them. Not going to have them in your schooner, but sand is the thing that makes the beach day the beach day. Whether it's flying around and irritating you on your towel, whether it's in your schooner, whether it's in your room ice, whether you're using it to build a sand castle, a sand castile. It's the main ingredient. So look at it, appreciate it. Notice the color, notice the granules, notice the little sea sculpture in it. Just basically enjoy your beach day using all these 20 words. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? A man and a vrou praat oor voorbereidings vir a presentatie wat hulle morgen op kantoor sal gee. Wat wil die vrou seker maak as die gesprek tot die einde kom? Oké, okay. ek dink ons is amper recht vir die presentation morgen. Nog net een paar dinge. Die vergadering sal precies 9 uur begin. Kan jy asjeblief die vergadering kamer vandag double check? Ja, ek het die vergaderkamer al reeds nagekyk. Oké, okay. goed so. Het jy seker gemaakt dat die project oor recht werk? Ek was van plan om die project oor morgen ochend te toets, wanneer ek my laptop het. Nee, ja. ons moet het vandag nakyk. Ons sal nie morgen genoeg tyd hee om iets te doen in die ochend as daar een probleem is nie. Maak seker dat jy die project oor vanavond toets. Dit is die belangrijkste, oké? Okay? Ik zal zo so maak. Het jy kopieën van die uitdeel blaie gemaak? My juffrou Tanaka is nou bezig daarmee. Kom ons kyk, wat anders? O ja, het jy die witbord geinspecteer? Ja, ek het. Soms het die penne nie genoeg ink oor nie. Het jy hulle allemaal getoets? Nog niet. Maar ik zal zeker maken. Ik doe dit later. Ja, maak alsjeblieft zeker. Jij doet dit vandaag. Wat wil die vrouw zeker maken als die gesprek tot de einde kom? Een man en een vrouw praat over voorbereidings voor de presentatie wat hulle morgen op kantoor zal geven. Wat wil die vrouw zeker maken als die gesprek tot de einde kom? Oké, okay. ik denk ons is amper recht voor die presentation morgen. Nog net een paar dingen. Die vergadering zal precies 9 uur begin. Kan je alsjeblieft die vergaderingkamer vandaag double check? 
Ja, ek het die vergaderkamer al reeds nagekyk. Oké, okay. goed so. Het jy seker gemaakt dat die project recht werk? Ek was van plan om die project oor morgen ochend te toets, wanneer ek my laptop het. Nee, ons moet het vandag nakyk. Ons sal nie morgen genoeg tyd hee om iets te doen in die ochend as daar een probleem is nie. Maak seker dat jy die projektor vanavond toets. Dit is die belangrikste, ok? Ek sal so maak. Het jy kopie van die audio blaie gemaak? My jyvrou Tanaka is nou bezig daarmee. Kom ons kyk, wat anders? O ja, het jy die witbord geinspekteer? Ja, ek het. Soms het die penne nie genoeg ink oor nie. Het jy hulle allemaal getoets? Nog nie, maar ek sal seker maak ek doen dit later. Ja, maak asjeblief seker jy doen dit vandag. Een man en een vrou praat oor die ontwerp van die bezigheid, sy bezigheidskaarkie. Wat er ontwerp besluit hulle op? Ons het een paar nieuwe ontwerpe vir die bezigheidskaarkies. Wat er een dink jy is die beste? Kom ons kyk. Ek dink die bezigheidse naam moet een bykie groter wees. Oké, okay, dan moet het een van hierdie wees. Goed. Ek hou van hierdie omdat die bezigheidse naam groot is en aan die boekant. Een van hierdie het spasie vir een foto. Wat dink jy? Hmm, ek dink dit maak seker die tekst een bykie te klein. Ja, die tekst kan dalk een bykie moeilik wees om te lees met die foto. Oké, okay, kom ons vat dan die ander een. Wat er ontwerp besluit hulle op? Een man en een vrou praat oor die ontwerp van die bezigheid, sy bezigheidskaarkie. Wat er ontwerp besluit hulle op? Ons het een paar nieuwe ontwerpe vir die bezigheidskaarkies. Wat er een dink jy is die beste? Kom ons kyk. Ek dink die bezigheidse naam moet een bykie groter wees. Oké, okay, dan moet het een van hierdie wees. Goed. Ek hou van hierdie omdat die bezigheidse naam groot is en aan die boekant. Een van hierdie het spasie vir een foto. Wat dink jy? Hmm, ek dink dit maak seker die tekst een bykie te klein. Ja, die tekst kan dalk een bykie moeilik wees om te lees met die foto. Oké, okay, kom ons vat dan die ander een. Een vrou praat met haar baas. Wat sal hulle by die vergadering drink? Ons gaan vanmiddag op vergadering heen met Michael van ons kantoor in New York. Weet jy of daar nog enige drankies oor is? Ons het koffie. Hmm, Michael drink nie koffie nie. Het ons bottels water? Ja, ek dink daar is nog oor. Uitstekend, baie goed. Wil meneer iets he? Ek sal die selfde neem. Wat sal hulle by die vergadering drink? Een vrou praat met haar baas. Wat sal hulle by die vergadering drink? Ons gaan vanmiddag op vergadering heen met Michael van ons kantoor in New York. Weet jy of daar nog enige drankies oor is? Ons het koffie. Hmm, Michael drink nie koffie nie. Het ons bottels water? Ja, ek dink daar is nog oor. Uitstekend, baie goed. Wil meneer iets he? Ek sal die selfde neem. Een man is in een brilwinkel. Wat er bril gaan hy kies? Hallo, het jy een bril nodig? Ja, my oor is die afgelopen tyd nogal sleg. Recht so, verkies jy die selfde model as wat jy nou het? Wel, ek dra al lang een vrikantige bril en daarom wil ek iets anders probeer. Sekerlik, wat van hier die rond is? Hmm, ek dink nie dit pas by my gezicht nie. Ek sal maar die selde vorm neem as die bril wat ek nou het. Het jylle enige brille met swaard rame? Beslis, wat van hier die een? Ja, ek hou daarvan. Ek sal dit neem. 
Wat er bril gaan hy kies? Een man is in een brilwinkel. Wat er bril gaan hy kies? Hallo, het u een bril nodig? Ja, my oor is die afgelopen tijd nogal sleg. Recht so, verkies u die selfde model as wat u nou het? Wel, ek draal al lang afrikantige bril en daarom wil ek iets anders probeer. Sekerlik, wat van hier die rond is? Hmm, ek dink nie dit pas by my gezicht nie. Ek sal maar die selde vorm neem as die bril wat ek nou het. Het jylle enige brille met zwart rame? Beslis. Wat van hierdie een? Ja, ek hou daarvan. Ek sal dit neem. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. You're about to enter a small shop, but there's a handwritten note on the door. What does the message on the note mean? What does the message on the note mean? The note reads, I'll be right back. Axel nooit terug wees. There's a notice at the bottom of the lunch menu. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice says there is an extra charge for alcoholic beverages. Extra koste, alcoholische drankie. You're finished with your meal and you're looking at the dessert menu. What kinds of drinks can you choose with the cake set? What kinds of drinks can you choose with the cake set? The menu shows that you can choose from coffee or tea. Coffee, tea. Great work! Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description.